Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Forex market wrap. We're going to look at the some of the bigger movers this week in the market. And there has been some huge moves considering um, the news that has been surrounding us this week. Lots of central banks speaking and... Um, in the Forex market outlook, we actually highlighted uh, the potential for the dollar to move. Now, uh, we kind of covered both bases because what we saw was the fact that we had this nice doji candlestick setting up. However, um, there was both positives and negatives for the US dollar. The most positive thing about the dollar is the fact that the Federal Reserve have come out and said that the tapering will start and that is quite a hawkish tone from the Federal Reserve and we've seen that continue into this week and the dollar has finally breached these highs uh, here around about that sort of 93 $60 area. If it can hold above this area because we still have a little bit of news out today but if it can hold above this area and close above this area that is a strong signal that the uptrend can continue and that we should see a dollar buying throughout um, the remainder of the next few months reason being as well seasonally which we'll take a little look at in the week ahead analysis coming up um, but seasonally the dollar does perform pretty well towards the end of the year and into sort of January so we could start to see that run happen now here for the US dollar one currency that has underperformed this week or performed uh, pretty badly against the dollar is the pound. The pound dropped through the 136 level. Looks likely for the pound to continue to be bearish, especially in the short to mid term. We can see that we had this really nice uh, head and shoulders pattern form, which we spoke about many times uh, on the channel recently. We've finally broken through the neckline. Is that going to see price trend a little bit lower? 134 is the sort of expected area for pound to come into. We haven't technically retested that zone yet. And the market is forming lower lows and lower highs on the daily time frame now. So what I would be expecting is that to continue, maybe a retest of 136 and a move down into 134. Could be something to watch out for going into next week. Aussie US dollar. Now, Aussie is really interesting because, again, we sort of looked at this market and we saw that we had a doji candlestick. And what we looked at was the fact that the market had bounced from previous supporting areas. And again, there's lots of positives and negatives for the Australian dollar at the moment. The positives, the commitment of trade reports, the commercials are heavily long in and around this area, literally where price dropped post uh, post pandemic they are similar levels in long contracts now so we could see a potential rise because of that or a trend reversal here because of that um negatives obviously the impact of the us dollar on the australian dollar at the moment we've also had stock markets declining which we'll talk about in a look in, in a second and that could impact with the australian dollar just because of risk factors so usually in risk off markets the australian dollar underperforms and the dollar performs pretty well however that being said we have had a decent close here or we could close decent so if price was to close back within the previous week's range that is a, a positive sign that maybe we're going to start seeing those buyers come back into the market now we talked about the australian dollar in a recent video we talked about the fact that we'd broken out of this trend in here and that we could look for some short opportunities on the way down to this major demand zone um, however price came up and it was kind of spiked into um, the level quite aggressively and hasn't really followed followed through yet we haven't seen that potential opportunity for it to follow through so it could still move to the downside however looking now that we're in a uh, we're in friday uh, friday trading looking at that weekly close it could be the start that we are going to start seeing that move back up towards this key level around about 74 80. So I wouldn't be surprised if we did start to see a bit of a breakout to the upside. The only conditions here, again, dollar's pretty strong at the moment. If the dollar remains strong, we shouldn't really see the Australian dollar versus the US dollar move higher. However, Aussie could be stronger against another currency elsewhere. Maybe take into consideration the pound being weak. Pound Aussie could move considerably lower. 
Finally, then we're going to move on to the stock markets because we've talked about the NASDAQ a couple of times um, recently. We talked about the initial sort of reaction to this structure area through here around about that $15,000 area. Now, price has moved considerably lower. And just looking at this weekly time frame, the next sort of area of support for me would be back down into this 14,000 area. Now, seasonally, stock markets tend to underperform for the month of September. We've seen that price is following through there so we may still see some further declines into the obvious next support level so in the next support level is that 14,000 what we could anticipate is the downtrend to continue back down into this zone because if we go take a look at that daily time frame we can see that the daily is forming lower lows and lower highs and until that changes we have to remain short on the stock markets because what we could anticipate is price coming back up into previous structure lows and continuing that move down until it hits that key zone. So keep in mind, um, the stock markets are falling at the moment. That could be helping the US dollar gain strength. Risk currencies could be underperforming because of this and uh, we could see it follow through into next week. In the week ahead analysis, I'll go through some seasonal um, charts and, and go through go through some potential opportunities there. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the videos this week. I hope they were um, okay. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you next week.